I spoke highly about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to, I have to change what I was going to say. I was not expecting, I was not expecting that. Audi drivers Lucas Degrassi and Daniel Apt have been teammates since the beginning of Formula E, the only drivers in the history of the sport that this applies to. So we caught up with them to ask them about their time together. As you can see, I'm very happy <laughs> to have uh, done five years with Daniel. Luckily, I don't have to see him every day. No, it's not a marriage. Although I see him a lot, much more than, uh, than the required amount. <laughs> Daniel has changed a lot. But when he came to Formula E, he was not experienced at all. He was coming from F2, not very proven to a, to a difficult series, but he improved to become a very, very, very good driver in these years. I believe that he still deserves much more credit than actually he gets, because in a difficult championship like this, all the cars being very close to each other, you need to perform yourself to deliver. And he has won many races and have done great to the team. We won teams championships together. In the end, the result speaks for themselves. I spoke highly about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to, I have to change what I was gonna say. I was not expecting, I was not expecting that. I think when when Formula E started back then, for me he was, I mean he was so he seemed to be like someone so experienced and. Um, you know, on a completely different level of career than I was. So I was kind of also, I would even say looking up to him because there was a lot for me to learn, a lot for me to gain uh, on a racing side, but also I think on a, on a personal side, because I mean, as racing drivers, you spend a lot of time together. It's always good to have people around you that you feel like you can, you can extract something from and that push you and, and motivate you. And I think that was, that was the case for me. And, and I was still quite young. So I think that was, that was very helpful for me to, to become the, the, the type of racing driver that I am today. And I think he has not really changed. He still, he still has the hunger. He, I mean, how old are you now? 35. 35. I think there's not many p drivers with that age that are still, you know, that eager to, to win and that. So I think that's, that's good. And I think that's also part of the reason why we are both still there, because we progress together to this point. But we have not come to a point where we say, ah, it's all, all settled, all done. We know how it works. We don't care. No, we still push and we still want to wanna win. Well, uh, the, the series uh, changed completely. Not really a lot of people believing in the future of Formula E at the very beginning. A lot of doubts from drivers, from teams, from everybody. To become probably the, 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 the most difficult series in the world to win uh, a championship right now because of this level of uh, competition and the level of the drivers, level of the teams, the parity will be very, very hard. I would say impossible for somebody to dominate as well. I mean, you cannot name any driver that isn't good. You cannot name any team that isn't good. The level is so, so tight. Makes it tougher for us, but makes it amazing for the fans to watch and I think gives credibility to the whole series.